RT2, new model translates vision and language into action. Robotic Transformer 2, RT2, is a novel vision language action, VLA model that learns from both web and robotics data, and translates this knowledge into generalized instructions for robotic control. High capacity vision language models, VLMs, are trained on web scale datasets, making these systems remarkably good at recognizing visual or language patterns and operating across different languages. But for robots to achieve a similar level of competency, they would need to collect robot data firsthand across every object, environment, task, and situation. In our paper, we introduce Robotic Transformer 2, RT2, a novel vision language action VLA model that learns from both web and robotics data and translates this knowledge into generalized instructions for robotic control while retaining web scale capabilities. A visual language model, VLM, pre-trained on web scale data, is learning from RT1 robotics data to become RT2, a visual language action VLA model that can control a robot. This work builds upon Robotic Transformer 1, RT1, a model trained on multitask demonstrations, which can learn combinations of tasks and objects seen in the robotic data. More specifically, our work used RT1 robot demonstration data that was collected with 13 robots over 17 months in an office kitchen environment. RT2 shows improved generalization capabilities and semantic and visual understanding beyond the robotic data it was exposed to. This includes interpreting new commands and responding to user commands by performing rudimentary reasoning, such as reasoning about object categories or high-level descriptions. We also show that incorporating chain-of-thought reasoning allows RT2 to perform multi-stage semantic reasoning, like deciding which object could be used as an improvised hammer, a rock, or which type of drink is best for a tired person, an energy drink. Adapting VLMs for robotic control. RT2 builds upon VLMs that take one or more images as input and produces a sequence of tokens that, conventionally, represent natural language text. Such VLMs have been successfully trained on web scale data to perform tasks, like visual question answering, image captioning, or object recognition. In our work, we adapt Pathways Language and Image Model, PALIX, and Pathways Language Model embodied, Palm E, to act as the backbones of RT2. To control a robot, it must be trained to output actions. We address this challenge by representing actions as tokens in the model's output, similar to language tokens, and describe actions as strings that can be processed by standard natural language tokenizers. The string starts with a flag that indicates whether to continue or terminate the current episode without executing the subsequent commands, and follows with the commands to change position and rotation of the end effector, as well as the desired extension of the robot gripper. We use the same discretized version of robot actions as in RT1, and show that converting it to a string representation makes it possible to train VLM models on robotic data, as the input and output spaces of such models don't need to be changed. Generalization and Emergent Skills We performed a series of qualitative and quantitative experiments on our RT2 models on over 6,000 robotic trials. Exploring RT2's emergent capabilities, we first searched for tasks that would require combining knowledge from web scale data and the robot's experience, and then defined three categories of skills, symbol understanding, reasoning, and human recognition. Each task required understanding visual semantic concepts and the ability to perform robotic control to operate on these concepts. Commands such as, pick up the bag about to fall off the table, or move banana to the sum of two plus one, where the robot is asked to perform a manipulation task on objects or scenarios never seen in the robotic data, required knowledge translated from web-based data to operate. Across all categories, we observed increased generalization performance, more than 3x improvement compared to previous baselines, such as previous RT1 models and models like Visual Cortex, VC1, which were pre-trained on large visual datasets. We also performed a series of quantitative evaluations, beginning with the original RT1 tasks, for which we have examples in the robot data, and continued with varying degrees of previously unseen objects, backgrounds, and environments by the robot that required the robot to learn generalization from VLM pre-training. RT2 retained the performance on the original tasks seen in robot data and improved performance on previously unseen scenarios by the robot from RT1's 32% to 62%, showing the considerable benefit of the large-scale pre-training. Additionally, we observed significant improvements over baselines pre-trained on visual-only tasks, 
such as VC1 and reusable representations for robotic manipulation, R3M, and algorithms that use VLMs for object identification, such as manipulation of open-world objects, MOO. Evaluating our model on the open-source language table suite of robotic tasks, we achieved a success rate of 90% in simulation, substantially improving over the previous baselines including BCZ, 72%, RT1, 74%, and LAVA, 77%. Then we evaluated the same model in the real world, since it was trained on simulation and real data, and demonstrated its ability to generalize to novel objects, as shown below, where none of the objects except the blue cube were present in the training dataset. Inspired by chain-of-thought prompting methods used in LLMs, we probed our models to combine robotic control with chain-of-thought reasoning to enable learning long-horizon planning and low-level skills within a single model. In particular, we fine-tuned a variant of RT2 for just a few hundred gradient steps to increase its ability to use language and actions jointly. Then we augmented the data to include an additional plan step, first describing the purpose of the action that the robot is about to take in natural language, followed by action, and the action tokens. With this process, RT2 can perform more involved commands that require reasoning about intermediate steps needed to accomplish a user instruction. Thanks to its VLM backbone, RT2 can also plan from both image and text commands, enabling visually grounded planning, whereas current plan and act approaches like SayCan cannot see the real world and rely entirely on language. RT2 shows that vision language models, VLMs, can be transformed into powerful vision language action, VLA models, which can directly control a robot by combining VLM pre-training with robotic data. With two instantiations of VLAs based on Palm E and Pali X, RT2 results in highly improved robotic policies and, more importantly, leads to significantly better generalization performance and emergent capabilities inherited from web-scale vision language pre-training. RT2 is not only a simple and effective modification over existing VLM models, but also shows the promise of building a general-purpose physical robot that can reason, problem-solve, and interpret information for performing a diverse range of tasks in the real world.